Alright, just finished exploring the city of dream place. So right now I'm just finding for some restaurant to eat. Oh, check this out. Parkal. Uh, it's kind of like a shopping mall in some sense. Uh, not really like a shopping mall, but oh, wow, look at that. So pretty. I see a lot of this place though, Mary Grace. And the what kind of cuisine they serve here. <sighs> but it's a cafe and this is nice parking. Oh, it's a marketplace. Okay. Dunkin' Donut. This is pretty, especially during night time though, if you come here. And see a lot of nice light and especially this top area here. Yeah. It's a nice looking tree here. Oh, I think this marketplace is quite new because a lot of it is uh, opening soon. A lot of the shop here. Yeah, a lot of the shop lot here is quite empty because it's like just newly open, newly established, from what I can see. Majority of it is like restaurant, got bistro here. And then we got another nice Christmas tree. Oh, even here is quite pretty though. Oof. City life. <laughs> East Ocean Palace. Is this another hotel? Seems like it. Yeah, it's quite quiet also, at least around here. Neat. Alright, heading to here. But I'm not sure they have a uh, place to sit. I need to check the... Oops, I need to check the price. Uh, that is a... Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see the, the menu. There's some like few description of what food is this. I guess I can dine in here since my last day here in Manila is. Okay, uh, I don't speak Tagalog, yeah. More away than four times. Okay, sure, alright. So this is the menu that they have. Okay. Uh, um, adobo batas. Quite pricey though, but yeah, I don't mind spending it since it's my last day here. Uh, let's see what else. Adobo. Oh, they got red wine, <laughs> but it's too too expensive for me. Uh, maybe I go the fresh fruit shake. Oh, they got halo halo, so I can maybe I'll try one of the halo halo here. So this will order the humba, the ensalada, we got the frozen margarita, and lastly the hello hello for the dessert. Alright, let's try out the food. Uh, starting with the humba. So humba is basically a Filipino dish and it's a braised pork. So yeah. Let's see how it tastes. We yeah. dip in some of the Sauce. I think I ate the the bone, but it's uh, like a soft bone. Mmm, it's good though. Mm, it got like a potato as well. It's a banana. Okay. Interesting. You put a banana in there. First time I see it. But yeah, I blend well. Okay. Um. Next, we're gonna try the ensalada. They got this, uh, I think like sambal sauce, their own version of sambal sauce. Then I'm just gonna put it here. And if you see, it contains like tomato, mango, um, onion. I don't really like that one. And then egg. And then 
I forgot what's this. I think bell pepper or what? It tastes very roasty, I would say. A bit like burnt. I still don't know, is it? Mm, I don't think it's bell pepper. I don't know what kind of uh, vegetable it is. I forgot what the waitress told me. But yeah, it's uh, this kind of uh, veggie. I think it tastes better with the, the sambal sauce. So the sambal sauce is basically like just a shrimp paste. Let's see, if we were to mix it with the egg, the sambal, how is it? Oh, it's a salted egg. Mm. No, not bad, not bad. Um, it's, it's an interesting kind of uh, food, the ensalada. Yeah. I like it so far. And let's try the frozen margarita things like a uh, lime some sort of a lime just mixed with some alcoholic soury a bit of minty but more into like a lime kind of taste it's basically um, lime mixed with some alcoholic let me finish my main course first before i try out the halo halo i wish they would serve it later though so that it won't melt or anything but yeah, I'm gonna try to finish up my main dishes and all that first. All right, I just done with all of my main course, um, except for the ensalada. There's some that I couldn't finish, especially that that green veggie. It tastes too roasted to me. Like uh, I don't know, it tastes kind of weird. So the hello hello time hello hello or hello 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 yeah. so at least they provide straw for me to drink <coughs> compared to other restaurants where I have to just use the spoon to screw up so yeah um, let's just gonna stir it down here hmm love that meat taste Oh, I forgot to mention that they always tend to put like a cereal on top of it. But they don't have the yam though. Which is strange because normally like a lot of the halo halo they have um, yam on top of it. Like an ice cream yam. But the content on the below, I don't think you can see it. It's basically the same. They have like the jelly some fruits some of the halo halops um different and varies when it comes to uh, restaurant from restaurant restaurant to restaurant so yeah i like it so far i just finished eating and what do i think of the food overall ah uh, it was great um, not much complaint i can say spent quite a lot but i don't mind it's my last day anyway here in Manila, so yeah, I still got like 2k pesos to spare. So yeah, everything's gonna be fine. Uh, right now, I'm going to go back to my hotel there and I will share my thought on the place which is called Okada Manila as well as the City of Dreams. Or maybe I can just share it here. Yeah, I don't need to go to the hotel and just do the set up about that. So, okay. When I entered the Okada Manila, it was great and all that fancy, right? It's nice, and based on what you see. The only thing the door allowed me is to shoot video at the casino, which I think is understandable. I still don't know the reason why you can't shoot video at the casino. Maybe someone can ed educate me. This is my first time going to a casino, so I, I don't know. Does it apply it here or in other country as well? Maybe, I guess. Yeah, but I believe you can take picture because when I look at the Google map, I can see people like take picture of the casino and all that. So I'm guessing you can take picture. Um, but not video overall. Like, I guess you can take like a short moment of video in that place. But let's say if you want to show a full tour of that casino, uh, it's a no-no, yeah. And same goes with the City of Dream place. 
I thought that one was hotel, but it turned out it's just a full-on casino with mini shop. And maybe that's how you want to say it. Yeah, like a small shopping mall mixed into it. But the thing is, when it comes to that place, the city of dream, oh man, so noisy. Maybe I get out from here, get out from this street first. Just look at it, it's so noisy. And I can hardly speak. Nothing can hear me though. So yeah, let me just let me just hit that side. Okay, um, I think over here is not too noisy. Um, a bit noisy, but not as noisy as the one behind. Okay, anyway, where was I again? Oh, yeah, City of Dreams. Yeah. So they kind of have like a strict policy. Well, they even put it on the like a warning sign or something like that. Um, so I can't even take video inside the place at all. I think including the top floor where there's like a mini like a shopping mall or some sort of like that. Because the casino is on the ground floor as, as well as on the first floor. So I understand that I, if I can't take the video at the casino area, that's fine. But if I can't take video like where you show the restaurant and all that, like, damn man, it's really strict, <laughs> that place. Since there's no hotel like inside the building itself, need to go to the nearest one that is beside, which is called Nobu Hotel and it costs way more expensive than staying at Okada Manila. Like Okada Manila is around as of today that I searched the price is 262 around 260 USD and the one at the Nobu Hotel is I think 70 dollar more or 100 dollar more usd just to stay at one night though and somewhere where i compare the interior i think the okada manila is much more nicer if i were given two options to stay either at nobu hotel which is located near city of dreams or okada manila i would go with okada manila though Especially there's so much thing you can see. So yeah, this is how busy the street of Ase is. Man, it's insane. Alright, before I head to my hotel, I'm gonna show you more uh, around this area. So you can see how the nightlife is in Ase. Uh, especially this area, yeah. It's like a market area. Night market, you can say. Because you can find a lot of like a cheap stuff here uh. right, anything from watch clothing uh, uh, some accessory oh, it shoot so narrow this street yikes super narrow super narrow and that guy keep honking <laughs> like, get out of the way I'm coming through a little street food also you can find here I want to show you this place. Oh, look at this. This, this cathedral, you can call it church or whatever. Looks so beautiful. That's the lighting. Wow, it's nice. And yeah, here's a closer look. So, this is how it looked like. If you zoom in closer, I like the. Uh, other cathedrals, especially located in Intramuros. That one you can take picture or video inside. But I don't think you can do so here. Maybe just outside and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Because I don't want to disturb the services. So that's it. I want to show you guys here in Passe. And I'm gonna head back to my hotel now.